Picture this, a computer about the size of your fingernail embedded into your credit card. That's essentially what these centimeter size EMB chips are. Let's take a look at how these small yet complex chips are made. Unlike traditional credit card magnetic strips that have static information stored and can easily be duplicated by fraudsters, EMB chips create a unique code to authenticate each credit card transaction. What we're making are, are small computers, but they have all the functionality of your laptop. The only thing that they don't have is a screen and a keyboard. EMV chips start as giant glass cylinders that weigh about 500 pounds and then are sliced into thousands of individual thin wafer disks. Tiny microcircuits are embedded on top of each wafer. We take this wafer, we back grind it to make it thinner so these chips will fit in a credit card, and then we take a laser saw and we cut out every one of these individual chips. The mini chips are electronically wire bonded to gold contact pads and sealed to keep them safe for everyday use. The EMV chip itself is actually behind the outer gold contact pad that you see on your credit card. Finally, they are inserted into a small cavity in a credit card and programmed with software to act as a communications medium between the smart card and a bank host when inserted into a card reader. The computing capacity of this tiny EMV chip is comparable to the computing power that put the first man on the moon. So the next time you're waiting for your transaction to finish, just remember, an advanced microcomputer is at work keeping your information safe.